A scrambler is a logic unit that transforms the number of the input signal into an output binary code. That means it is the opposite of a decipher. A complete binary scrambler has n outputs and two power n inputs, where n is the code length. In schematics, microcircuits of scramblers are indicated by letter C D, meaning code. When one of the scrambler's input lines is active, code is formed at its outputs. It indicates the number of the active input. For example, if a signal appears at the zero input of the scrambler, we'll get the double O at the in output. If it's at the first input, the code will be O1. If the signal is at the second input, we'll get one O and so on. Scramblers are not as popular as deciphers. This is due to their specific area of application. The variety of microcircuits in standard series is also much smaller. The series of scramblers manufactured in our country have letters one V in their names. In schematics, inputs of scramblers are numbered by consecutive decimal digits zero, one, two, three, etc. Outputs are indicated as the weight of the binary output variables like 1, 2, 4, etc. The outputs and inputs of scramblers are usually inverse. This means their active state is indicated by logic 0 rather than by logic 1. The microcircuit may have an EI input enabled. A signal at this input determines when the scrambler starts working. There might be additional outputs, for example, a JS output indicating any input signal or an EO carry output. The latter allows combining several scramblers to increase the code length. The EO output becomes active in the absence of input signals. However, it needs an EI signal to start working. Scramblers are usually used to decrease the number of signals. This is very convenient, for instance, when transmitting signals over long distances. In addition, the input signals shouldn't come simultaneously. The EI and EO inputs in scramblers allow increasing the number of inputs and as well as the number of digits. This is done by means of additional elements at the output.